Some really intense footage has come out of Syria that shows 8 Syrian rebels sitting on a couch in front of a camera. The men were members of the Free Syrian Army. They sit in front of the rebel flag with two rifles propped up on the coffee table in front of them. As they sing into a microphone, one of them pulls out his phone and attempts to take a selfie. As he presses the shutter button, it becomes apparent that the phone's shutter is actually a bomb trigger. An explosion goes off. You see an orange flash and the tripod with the camera on it falls over. It appears that the bomb was accidentally set off. The man clearly forgot that his phone was intentionally set to detonate a bomb. Men yelling Allah Akbar can be heard in the background as debris flies around the camera view. You can see some of the rebels step over the fallen camera to help their comrades. At this time, it's not certain whether anyone was killed or injured in the explosion. The clip has not been verified. Since the camera was not destroyed in the explosion and everyone else in the room was not injured, it can be inferred that the bomb was not as big as other bombs rebels and ISIS have used in Syria. If you guys would like to see that footage, you can find it by scrolling down to the description box and clicking the story links. The Free Syrian Army is an ally of many western nations in the fight against ISIS. Some of its allies include the US, UK and France. Not only is the Syrian rebel army up against ISIS, they are also up against the forces of the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad. Back in 2011, there was an uprising in Syria of rebel forces that resulted in civil war and the current Syrian refugee crisis we are still experiencing today. More than 250,000 Syrians have died in just that four and a half year period and 11 million have been forced to leave their homes by forces loyal to President Bashar al-Assad. The uprising began with civilian protests against the government and then that escalated into civil war. The Syrian people have nowhere to run to as their own government is too busy trying to aggressively control the civil war instead of protecting Syrians from ISIS militants. So I bet you're wondering, how did the Syrian president become so hated? Bashar was never interested in politics. He was a doctor. Bashar was interested in an easy, luxurious life. He admired countries like Switzerland and wanted Syria to adopt Western policies. His brother, Basil, was the Syrian president, and when Basil died, Bashar had to take his place. His brother Basil was beloved by the people, and Bashar was not. Bashar wanted to modernize Syria. He wanted to adopt capitalist policies and neoliberal reforms to make it more like Switzerland. Which might sound like a good idea, but not when Syria was accustomed to an authoritarian structure. A drastic change like that has to be gradual. His father started the authoritarian structure that was in place in Syria at the time that Bashar took over. Because he did not understand politics and the effect these drastic changes would have on Syria, he didn't realize the consequences. Even though there were some short term benefits to his changes, whispers of revolution began across the country, not only from civilians, but within his own government. The gap between the rich and the poor began to widen as well, and only Bashar's inner circle benefited from the reforms. The Syrian people didn't think Bashar was fit to be a leader, and after seeing the Arab uprisings in Tunisia, Egypt, and Libya, the Syrian people wanted to rebel as well. So the revolution was born, and Bashar could not keep it under control. It's still raging today. At this time there has been a partial truce set between the US, Russia and Syria. If all parties follow through, President Bashar al-Assad's forces will end airstrikes controlled by rebels, and humanitarians will be allowed access to the country untouched. The truce is set, but many rebel groups say that they do not think the Syrian government will keep its promise. Already humanitarian workers are being targeted in the rebel held town of Kantuman, but it's unclear at this point who is targeting them. An airstrike on a clinic near Aleppo has killed 4 medical personnel and at least 9 rebel fighters. In addition, there have been several other sophisticated attacks since the truce. According to the Syrian observatory, it's either the Syrian army or Russian forces that are to blame. Russia has strongly denied any involvement. Until all parties cease fire, the civil war raging in Syria will continue to rage on and so will the fight against ISIS. That's all I have for you on this. Thanks for watching IO. I'll see you all in another video.